Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about accessing a form control and unit testing. I have explained about accessing the form control from a form group in my Angular tutorial video and also it was updated in my reactive forms tutorial. Please watch that video before continuing this and I'll provide the link in the description. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a HTML file and a TS file. In this TS file, I have created a group called as login form group and it has one form control called as username that has been embedded with my input field via form control name called as username. And whenever we are entering some value in the username that will be displayed here in this value. That means I am accessing that particular value of a form control in my HTML. So here I have ran this already in my console and it was compiled successfully. Let me show you the demo here. Whenever I am typing something, you can see this output and let me remove this and you can see the empty that means it is acting similar to the ng model format now what i want to do is let me quickly go into the spec file and let me test this scenario that means we are entering something in my url or i'm entering something in my input field and that should be updated in my paragraph field so let me go to the spec file and import the reactive forms as we are using reactive forms module and that has been imported and let me create two variables one is let fixture colon component fixture of type app component and let me create one more variable called as component instance which is of type app component so i have created two variables and now let me assign the instances for that after compiling these components, let me assign fixture is equal to testbed dot create component of app component. Let me create the app component and also let me create an instance like app component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance. I gave the component instance for this component instance. And now what I want to test is for testing any of the scenario, we will be using a it description. So what is the description I want to give here? Test accessing the form control from form group. I want to access a form control value from the form group. So now what I want to do is let me create a ID for this input field. ID is equal to username and also let me create an ID for this like ID equal to username value so let me create these two ids and now go to the spec file and get the ids before getting the ids let me update the fixture to make a two-way binding or to make a binding between the reactive forms of the ts into my html fixture dot detect changes and then fixture dot when it is stable then we will be having a promise based and i can get the username const username element which is of type HTML input element is equal to component or fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector it's an ID so let me get that ID by copying username hash username because it's an ID so we have to use hash as a selector now I got the username element and now what I want to do is let me update the value of that username element username element dot value is equal to let me give Sai Kumar is my username and also let me dispatch an event to trigger this user input element so username element dot dispatch event of new event let me use an event called as input so I am entering some value and whenever the fixture is stable again then I want to check the condition like I want to get the value of this paragraph so let me get this element of paragraph const user name value colon which is of type HTML paragraph element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my ID the ID whatever we are using is username value let me copy this and paste here this is an ID so prefixed with hash 
So now I gave the username value as a paragraph element. So whenever I get the paragraph element, let me check whether that particular value is equivalent to the value which I have entered in the username element. That means expect of username value is a paragraph element that inner HTML should be equal to to equal of the name which I passed that is username copy here and paste here and also I have something like expect of username value dot inner HTML dot to equal of my form group control value that means I can get the form group control value from the component instance let me get it from there component instance dot login form group dot get of what is my name the username that is the form control name is username copy here and paste here dot value and this may be optional so let me give question mark save this and check the another node here I got expected as empty to equal of Sai Kumar that means this expectation is missing let me check why it is missing so I have updated my value and here we are getting an empty what I'll do is let me update this after my event fixture dot detect changes let me detect the changes why because after this dispatch event my input will be triggered and that input will update my TypeScript data so whenever the TypeScript data is updated that should be reflected on my HTML for that sake I'm using detect changes let me save this and see the output it's compiled successfully and now the total test cases has been successfully passed so this is how we can test our accessing of the form control from a form group in reactive forms if you like my explanation like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you